welcome back to JC Motive Garage. So the other day uh, I received the Zeus um, vehicle health monitor and I was scanning the car, the Acura, and I had a P2500 uh, error code come on, which is the alternator. Say it doesn't have the right um, current. I know it's a little windy. I'm gonna move over here a little bit. So, um, so I had an error code come on the RSX, the P2500, which is the alternator, saying it's not getting the right enough voltage to the car or the battery. So, and I tried to clear it, but it wouldn't clear, it just came back on. So today, I'm gonna do a good review on the vehicle health monitor light, and I'm gonna run them to the auto parts store. We're gonna put the car on the scanner, and we're gonna check the alternator to see if that is accurate for the alternator and if it is then we're gonna see that it's actually accurate if not then we'll try to clear it and we'll go through that I've got some uh, some data that I've been collecting from it as I've been driving it for the week so I'll also post that throughout the video also but uh, so before we get into this please subscribe make sure you uh, like share our channel follow us on Facebook at JC Motive Garage we got some other cars to be working on. We're working on the Jeep and we're working on a Saturn SC2 that I bought. Uh, 2001, it's got 90,000 miles on it. And we just got a garage. Me and my son just got a garage down the road, about 15 miles down the road. So it's there. We just got it there. Um, we got a little bit of transmission issues with the clutch and that. So we're going to be working on that. So please check out our other videos and uh, make sure you subscribe. We really appreciate it. And, uh, let's let's uh jump in the acura and uh let's go to the auto parts store and let's do the scan and we'll uh compare the data and we'll see if this actually is uh worth buying so let's do it all right well there's my uh 2005 acura rsx i've done a little bit to it it's got a header it's got a race exhaust on it and uh i did the spark plugs it's got a ram air intake on it it's got a two and a half inch uh, exhaust with a three inch tip. So uh, my daily driver and I drive my Jeep. So we're gonna be doing some stuff to the Jeep later on today. So if you wanna check out that video later on, that'll be posted. But let's uh, let's get, get in the Acura and let's drive up to the other parts store. expensive on eBay so and there's a check engine light but I think that check engine light because I've already had it scanned so if you want to check out one of my previous videos on that I've already had that scanned and that's the knock sensor but I think because I changed the I changed the um, the header to a race header now the air fuel mixture is a little bit off so I might have to buy a K Pro to tune the RSX and uh, and see if I can change the fuel air mixture because I can get it cleared. It'll clear it, and then it'll come back on, and then it'll and then it'll come and then it'll go off, and it'll come back on. But it's it's running normal. I don't know. I don't understand the reason why. So so we're gonna go up to the auto parts store up there. It's been raining, so the brakes are a little bit squeaky. Run up here and then we'll be right back. Just kind of like cleared up, so let's do it. All right, so they're gonna get ready to uh, 
to uh, test the alternator and the battery. They're going to do a full test on it to see if the alternator is actually working, to actually see if this is actually uh, working right. You have to have the car started, right? Not yet. You gotta set the cranking amps. Yeah, the cold cranking. cranking. amps, 512, right? Cold cranking, 410. Mm -hmm. Good battery. Okay, so it's a good battery. It's gonna test the starter. Start the car up to see if the starter and the alternator is good, and we'll see if this is actually accurate. So let's start it up here. to see if the alternator is actually working to actually see if this is actually uh, working right you have to have the car started right not yet You gotta set the cranking amps. Yeah, the cold cranking. cranking. amps, 512, right? Cold cranking, 410. Mm -hmm. Good battery. Okay, so it's a good battery. It's gonna test the starter. Okay, you have to start it. Okay, now we're gonna start the Start the car up to see if the starter and the alternator is good and we'll see if this is actually accurate. So let's start it up here. So we did the test on the alternator on the RSX and you can see that it was putting out about 14 volts. Starter passed, um, battery passed, battery was good. Alternator was good, it's putting out a right amount of voltage. So I'm going to uh, start the car right now. I'm gonna do a video, I'm gonna do a, um, 
uh, a test on that. I'm gonna scan it again. I'm gonna do that off camera because I only have one camera right now, but uh, we usually have two because I use my son's uh, phone too. But I'm gonna do that real quick. I'll take a screenshot of it and then uh, I will put it in the video here. So I'm gonna do that real quick while we're here and then uh, we'll compare the um, we'll compare the data to see if it's actually if this is actually accurate. Right now it's saying no, it's not accurate, but I just want to do a test real quick. So I'm going to do that and then uh, I'll be right back and let you know what I find out. All right, so I just did a scan on the, the um, not a vehicle health monitor and it says 38 items are fine. So um, I cleared it and uh, so I guess it's right. I'm gonna do it again when uh, when I get home and I'm gonna scan it again to see, actually drive it for about five miles down the road to my house and we'll see if it actually comes back on again. But right now it's saying 38, uh, 38 items are fine and the voltage for the alternator and everything was fine. So I don't know why it threw that code, but I don't know. But I just wanted to verify and make sure everything is good and uh, like I said, the battery was good, the, the alternator was good, the starter was good, everything passed. The alternator is given about 14.3, 14.5 volts. So that's really good for the alternator. You, you want a little bit more than 12 volts for your battery so it can actually trickle charge your battery as you're, you know, you're driving because your alternator runs your car, your battery doesn't. So you can take your battery out and after you start your car and your car will run as long as you don't, um, as long as you don't shut it off. So that's a good thing to check if you want to check an alternator or uh, yeah, check an alternator for your car. You can always do that. You can always start your car, take off the positive cable. And if your car dies, then really it's your alternator. But you can also get it checked too. If you can get it started, you can take it up to, you know, Riley's or AutoZone or Auto uh, Vance Auto and they will do a, they'll do a test on it just like they did here. They'll test everything. Just check your starter, your battery, your alternator. They'll check everything and put a load on your battery and it will tell you if it's good or bad. You just have to put the right amount of cold cranking amps and uh, which is your cranking amps for your car when you start it cold. So, so let's do that real quick. I'll drive home. I'm gonna do another scan on it and then we'll see if that, uh, see if that comes back on and then uh, we'll conclude this video and I'll put some of the I took some screenshots and stuff of the, the data that I've been collecting with the car, the hard stops, the high rev and all that stuff. So we're gonna see if it's actually, um, see if it's actually accurate. So let's do that now and then uh, I'll be right back. So I'm back to the house. I'm gonna do another scan just to see if everything is fine on it. Should be about 38 items fine. So we'll do that scan real quick. And then uh, I'll attach the the screenshots of all that when I'm, uh, when I'm done with the scan so you can actually see that everything was fine on it. So let's do that now and uh, let's see if everything's good.
All right, so I just drove it back from O'Reilly's, which is about a couple miles down the road from my house, and I just did another scan, and now the code's coming back on, the P2500 alternator voltage low. So I would say that um, the review on this is not very good, that the codes that it's throwing, and I verified everything, as you could see, that I went up there, got a load tested, the alternator was good, putting out 14.5 volts on it, um, the other day I tried to clear it when I first did the video and uh, I couldn't clear it and it just kept coming back on After I did the test, I did it again. It's saying that it was good. 38 ohms were fine Car was running good and now I just did it again after driving it back from the Riley's and uh, it's coming back up with the code so I don't know about this uh, vehicle health monitor. Um, I don't think I'm going to use it because um, it only cost me shipping, but which is, that was good. So at least I didn't have to pay for the whole thing or I would be emailing them and asking for a return. So um, so I guess the conclusion is um, this thing is, is crap. I don't like it. Um, I'm going to buy something else better and I will do a review on that and actually see if it uh, actually is better and all that. But um, so I'm going to get ready to uh, work on the Jeep here and pull that in there and do the oil pan. So um, this next video, I'll be doing the oil pan gasket on the Jeep and uh, we'll be doing some other things i got to rewire the um the light for my spare tire that i put on the spare tire uh, bracket so i did that but uh we're gonna yeah we're gonna conclude this video so i can start working on the jeep so so if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe like share our channel you can follow us on facebook and instagram at jc motive garage and uh check out some of our playlists that we have uh, we had a honda that we were working on that we that we got from a friend and we did a total flip on that car and we got a uh, saturn that we're working on now we just got a garage so uh please check those out and we'll see you next time on jc motive garage thanks for watching